Will more companies be incorporating in Texas? The state of Texas has made a lot of news recently for becoming a business friendly state. And in this video, we're gonna walk through the reasons why it's become more business friendly and why many businesses may end up moving there in the future. So as many of you know, Elon Musk wants to move Tesla's state of incorporation from Delaware to Texas. And this is because a Delaware judge didn't approve Elon Musk's $55.8 billion pay package from Tesla. So will Tesla end up moving from Delaware to Texas? I'm not sure. But this is a sign that Texas has been trending in the right direction. So as many of you know, the state of Delaware has been the number one state for corporate law for a very long time. And this is because Delaware has favorable corporate laws as well as the Delaware Court of Chancery. And because of this, 68% of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in the state of Delaware. But given what happened to Elon Musk, this may change in the future. Elon Musk has already moved SpaceX from Delaware to Texas. And on top of that, he's also moved Tesla's headquarters from Palo Alto to Austin. As for the Boring Company, well, he moved that to Bastrop County right next to the Colorado River. While Elon Musk is only one business owner, there's a good chance that other entrepreneurs will move their businesses to Texas as well. And there are three reasons why. Number one, Texas is developing a business court of their own. And the Texas business court is just like the Delaware Court of Chancery. It'll handle business disputes as well as complex litigation matters. And because of that, it could attract more Fortune 500 companies to the state. And overall, this is actually really good for business because if you have a competing court with the Delaware Court of Chancery, it'll encourage competition amongst the states. And this makes you wonder, if Elon Musk had filed suit in a Texas court, would they have approved his pay package? I'm not sure, but there is a good chance that that ruling could have been different. The second reason is that Texas improved their charging order protection laws for LLCs. Now I've done a few other videos on the charging order protection, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch those. Anyways, Texas recently passed a law that recognized the charging order protection as the exclusive remedy for both single member and multi-member LLCs. And the benefit here is that if a business owner is sued personally, it's much more difficult for that creditor to reach their assets held in the LLC. And the third reason why Texas could be a business hotbed is because of their thriving economy. They have a favorable tax climate, and they've also seen an increase in business formations in the last few years. And states like California and New York can't say the same thing. Will Texas overtake Delaware in the future? Well, that has yet to be seen but they certainly do have good reasons to think that they can. I also have a new book called The Five Tricks to Teach Your Kids About Money. You can download the book for free by clicking the link in the description below. If you're looking to start a business, you can schedule a free 15 minute consultation with us at Corporate Direct by also clicking the link in the description below. And as always, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and turn on that notification bell. And I should warn you, the contents of this video are not legal advice and no attorney client relationship has been formed.